I uh, wanted to become the best tactical aviator I could be. You'll never really find out how good you could possibly be. Coming to Top Gun is not just to make them good in the jet. It's to make them effective teachers. Gentlemen, you are the top 1% of all naval aviators. The elite. Oh, being a Top Gun instructor is rewarding, uh, teaching the students during the Top Gun course, seeing them improve, and uh, also working with your fellow instructors whose common goal is to uh, develop and teach tactics to the F-18 community. If someone wanted to become a Strike Fighter Tactics Instructor or SFTI, I would definitely encourage them to do so. The Top Gun course, while challenging, is rewarding. You learn how to become a better instructor and you learn how to fight the aircraft in ways you've never done before. The Top Gun course is challenging, but uh, I said it's probably going to depend on each person going through, but uh, the most challenging for me was just the uh, level of preparation required for every flight in order to be successful. Uh, gesture, see if I can give you a run for your money here. The movie, I'm guessing, just kind of shed a light on, uh, on the Top Gun program, Top Gun course, as well as naval aviation, specifically to carrier aviation. But with the advances in technology since then, the uh, aircraft today have much more capable and uh, advanced combat systems and sensors than the aircraft 30 years ago. The F-14 certainly had its strengths, but I would say that the, the F-18 has done a nice job of proving itself in the, uh, in the war since, since the 9, since 9-11 specifically. Also, they were involved in Desert Storm, but I think so far as an F-A, the fighter and attack role, the F-18 has done a pretty good job, pretty nice service in the United States. In 10 years, I see Top Gun uh, doing what it's been doing for 47 years, and that's developing, implementing, and teaching tactics for the fleet employment.